Welcome to the spoiler section for the Fast and Furious uh, 10 or Fast X. Uh, so what what can we do here, guys? Uh, I, I, you're so going to need to fucking help me. At the me. very beginning, we get the flashback of them being in Rio. They're doing the bank heist and they kill that uh, drug dealer. Yes. And that's how we get our villain. Right. And he's like, I will uh, come after your family. So next scene, we're at a barbecue with everyone. and uh, Barbecue sponsored by Corona. Yes. Sweet Baby Ray's A1 Steak Sauce. Uh, <laughs> red uh, Sauce. Uh, red uh, hot. Uh, Frank's Red Hot. Yes. Uh, what else was on the table? Um, maybe that's it. But remember to buy those products. Yes. <laughs> so we get uh, Tyrese. He's like, hey, there's a mission that uh, the agency wants us to do in Rome. And uh, my name is Rome. So I'm going to lead this mission. And yeah. he's like, okay, let's go to Rome. They go to Rome, and uh, then they find out it's a trap set by Jason Momoa. Mm -hmm. Well, before before we yeah, get there, yeah. hold on. You're skipping yeah, ahead because yeah. it's, uh, it's easy to do with all this stupid bullshit that's happening. Simple Jack shows up in the middle of the night, and then she's, she Simple swipes Simple at, the at the mailbox, and there's blood everywhere. And she crawls up, and then he's like, Tom gonna, really wants to beat her ass. I'm going to watch her and I murder you, you woman. And, uh, and then she's like, you're going to want to hear my last one. The only one. one that legitimately died in the Fast and Furious uh, Someone series, died? This, the, the chick. This, this lady, I don't know her name. She's just a lady. She I died. died from the plane, yeah. Yeah. No. Because the one who legitimately died, she shot her in the head. It's in the flashback. Oh, we're yeah, talking yeah, about this scene sequentially. I thought oh. we were talking about uh, Shirley Stern whenever. I thought she died before, too. But Oh, yeah. Yeah, she also. <laughs> 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 and so did the. Yeah. The, okay. So but, so Shirley Stern shows up, and she's like, hey, hey, there's a bad guy. And I met the devil tonight, and he, you're going to want to hear what I say. And everyone's like, I'm going to murder you. Why are you here? Uh, and then she's like, well, you fucking morons. I'm bleeding on your couch. I'm telling you. And they're like, well, tell me why. It's like, I am telling you. Shut up. And then so she says, well, and then we go to another flashback that's only like two hours flashback. She's in her secret lair in wherever the fuck they live, probably L.A. or something. And uh, Jason Momoa walks in with two uh, dudes pretending to be knocked out. And then he has kidnapped every single person in the room's family. And he's like, now you're all going to work for me because I've kidnapped your children and your wives and your dogs. Except your for cat. one guy, and which is knives. And he's like, that guy didn't have anybody. Not even a cat. <laughs> so yeah. what, what he does is because he's great, he's great in this movie, but he's also um, an Austin Powers villain. He's like, I'm going to leave the room now and make sure you kill her. Mm -hmm. And he walks out of the room now. And then she turns off all of their guns because she can't. Because I knew you were going to double cross the double cross. No, you can't double cross the double cross. <laughs> Only my agents have these guns that can be turned off in any time yeah and so she turns off the guns and then she <laughs> fist fights and beats up and kills almost everyone in the room except for like a couple guys and then she gets out and she falls down an elevator shaft and then she lives and then she crawls to dom's house and then that was the first double cross yeah. and then the trip is there's the a the lot of uh, family set up some nice moments to get you to those feels that the director and we're talking about the grandma shows Rita up Moreno's uh, there. abuela shows up and she's the mother and then everybody's having a good time they're eating and fucking and Tyrese wants to eat before it's, he's ready. Stop it. You, oh, you. And then he son, I love the you. beans up in his hand, like yeah, awkwardly. It's, it's like, oh, it'll be, really, it'll be really funny, right? It's like, no. Terrible. Keep it's it not funny. Everyone, Tyree wasn't even that funny in this film, and he's funny in all of them. Yeah. Anyways, and, and the kid is such an annoying fucking actor. I don't buy him as Don's best son. racer. It's terrible. Oh, yeah, and they show him doing donuts, and it's, oh, you think it's dumb, but no, it's, it was his son. His son, can't, his feet don't even the freaks of fucking battles. Physics. How the fuck did he see over <laughs> the fucking he's got, he's got those short round shoes. It's a block of wood. T like Oh, Indiana Jones. Yeah, he, he, yeah. yeah. But keep going. And then so, then we, then we find out. Uh, they, so, they oh, oh, I, I, want, I was like, what film is he from? Who? What, where are they going back to? It's Fast Five. Fast Five is where the, the his father died. The oh. drug yeah, because that's the one I guess was. You the didn't last even one see some Paul of the Walker grainy footage a little bit, and then when they put in the new footage, it's like digital. And yeah, because I don't remember which one uh, Paul Walker was in. Yeah, so the that one, one the, so. the that one was Fast Five. Paul okay. Walker's in a bunch of them, oh, Joe, until he passed away. But th that know, particular one, one I don't know. His last one, I think, was uh, fucking Seven when they did the I thought actually pretty tasteful, you know, moment where they drive separate ways. Mm -hmm. He does. Men Brian has mentioned once in this film, uh, me and Brian are safe. So, mm -hmm. 
Anyways, so they she shows up and then she they call the agency. They're like, "Hey, what the fuck's going on?" Clint East, Scott Eastwood shows up, uh, who apparently was in some of the previous ones, and he's like, okay. "Where are the rest of your Where are the rest of your people?" And they're like, "Oh, they're in Rome working for you." And he's like, "I didn't send them to Rome." And so they time travel. Don't, they don't fucking bother talking to the agency at all. It's like, here's a mission from the agency. Because Rome's incompetent. Let me, let, why haven't we talked to Clint, Clint Eastwood's son? Okay. Maybe maybe Tyree got yeah, a, a, a post They just note. got excited. He's like, go to Rome. Your name's Rome. Go to ha, Rome. Ha, ha. And That's then, what he and said. Like, yep, That's all it takes. It. Got, got it. It. We don't need to do any legwork or anything. Let's yeah. just go. And so they all go to Rome to try to rescue the <laughs> team that is being... They think they're doing a heist, but the heist is for them instead. And they think they're stealing a chip, but instead they're stealing a hamster ball. But and Alex, the, hamster- the time doesn't match up because they already left at Rome. They're still in L.A. Oh, there is How no... Does, how do they catch up to them? Well, so this is the time travel spot that <laughs> oh, we talked about, right? What? They've already they've already There's transcended no space here. in a Pontiac, and so they time travel to get to Rome. So then explain it to me. This they're already in Rome. How they're in LA? Like, oh, we got to get to Rome and stop them, and they happen to be there at the exact same time. Delorean. Explain that to me. Okay. Maybe they take the. the, the <laughs> how long does it fly to? Yeah, it's How long is flight? stupid. Oh, that's a 10 hour flight, yeah. Oh, I don't know. They made it. But what if they use the hamster uh, tunnels from Mortal Kombat Annihilation? They go through the ah. earth, and that's how they get there. Because okay. that's, that's the next thing that, that's going to happen. <laughs> okay, okay. Dom has to find his animality. That's what Fast so 10 Part 2 simp- is. So, is Simple Tom is what you're calling Simple, Simple Jack. Jack. Simple Jack. Her name is Cypher, goddammit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what her name is. All right, keep going. Uh, and so they go to Rome, and then there's a, a bomb that is a perfect sphere, and they're going to blow up the Vatican. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so Dom has to save the Vatican and the Pope and yeah, all of Catholicism. It would have been nice to see, you know, the Pope or some fucking Catholics about to get, you know, in danger. No, it's just like an empty, you know, area. And it's, it's a big it's bomb. To put, to put the, the stakes yeah. up there a little. Well, I get no, I, sh- I am wrong. There are tons and tons of just random people where the, the bomb just gently rolls over. <laughs> and then Dom goes, saves them. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he uses his car to gently, because they're having lunch on the side of, yeah. of the street, uh, and, and break all the wood that are holding the awning up, and then the awning falls. Now, the awning's just made of a very thin paper, uh, a thin cloth material and then when the fire rushes from uh the bomb it uh, uh <coughs> is blocked yeah. completely mm-hmm. i think this had more damage than man of steel yeah yeah they <laughs> see remember how everybody was complaining not me by the way oh so they are heroes he's such a hero he's killed everybody they literally have destroyed and killed everybody uh, all those cars on all those cops just, just, just trying to do the are job dead. they're dead okay, the kill count Passengers through the roof. dead. <laughs> Random commuters <laughs> dead. So they use a pull a triple X, also yeah. starring Vin Diesel, and they're like the only way that we can save the save Rome is if the bomb explodes underwater. Yeah. So Vin well, Diesel. Well, wait before we do that because there's also he's he's using the car. It's like pinball. He's using this Rocky. car to pinball the thing. And here's the thing: is that this set piece is it, yeah, it's cool. There's a ball and it's a bomb, but it's not as interesting as we've seen. Fast nine, even eight. These motherfuckers are falling out of their cars. You remember so many times the Dom magnets? has like come and he's like bounced on the push the car thing. that was coming and down. They're, <laughs> they're just he lifts cars with his body and just throws he did it. Do and that. Shit. He did lift the car with <laughs> his one with one arm. This time. He does it in this time too. But what I'm saying is this. I don't know. It's just not co- as cool as previous things. So you're like, okay. Whereas when I'm watching, I'm like, what the hell? And I'm laughing and having a good time because it's so over the top. This is like, it's over the top, but it's not as good as all the other. That's what it is when you've got all the way so to the go tenth ahead. film. Right. The magic is already coming. The magic is, out. and that's why Vin Diesel himself is like, these need to end. And Universal is <laughs> like, give me two more. Yeah. I, I honestly, I don't think that that's the case. I personally think that it's the director that is. Thank it's, you. It's yes, that's what I'm so saying. The, the, uh, the director and the writer. This new the scene, screenplay. the specific scene that you mentioned, where Vin Diesel saves three people at yeah. a cafe, yes. is damaging to the movie. Yeah, Be, and it's there's so many scenes like this where Vin Diesel 
goes out like he's he's trying out to of his way to be Harold worse. So there is no tension because you see no one get hurt. They're like, well, they're gonna run over nuns, and they, then they don't run over the nuns, and he saves the people at the cafe. <laughs> this is one after another. And I forgot about the there's nuns. two dogs, and you're like, the dogs there's... are gonna get run over, and, he, and Vin Diesel saves them, and then there's a woman, old woman yeah. crossing the street, and he saves her. <laughs> Vin Diesel, and then a neutron bomb <laughs> explodes <laughs> in the center of Rome, of Rome, and nine people died, is what yeah. they said on the thing. Only nine. They blew up a neutron bomb in the center of Rome in front of the ba- Vatican. I, you, I didn't even know nine people died. The, I didn't hear that. And then so what's <laughs> I why? nobody died. And so the problem is no one dies. No yeah. innocent people die. No members of the Here's team die. Here's our major die. problem. And so there is no tension, and I'm not you, I'm not getting sucked into any of these action scenes because it feels like a parody of a parody. There's it is because no they said nine people died from the bomb. I was like, how about the other stuff that happened? Yeah, no. Where he rammed him. The, the cops. He, he rammed into uh, the police car into another car and flipped that over. Guy, yeah, that, that guy's fucking that dead. That guy's, yeah, that, guy that guy's fucking. There's yep. explosions everywhere. But he died before yeah. the bomb. They died. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no, more people it, that died. Okay. <laughs> so he say he pulls a triple X and he fi- he finds <laughs> it does a way. remind me of triple X because well, that's exactly what happens at the end. He knocks he, the bomb underwater it. in the oh, river right. and then it. But explodes. he does it because he's like he realizes. It. So first they grab the truck that has the bomb. Because, uh, uh, you know, Tyree is in the golden Lamborghini, and then the other one's an Alfa Romeo. They fucking go on each side, use their brakes, but then the bomb comes out. Or no, another vehicle. Clint Eastwood's son almost dies. Little nobody. <laughs> Not Mr. Nobody. Mr. Nobody is Kurt Russell. He couldn't appear in this film. I don't know why. They couldn't give him enough money. They'll save him for a future film. He's He's gone. He's disappeared. They're doing Empire Strikes Back. They want to do Return of the Jedi. Whatever. So uh, the fucking Momoa this whole time is having great commentary and just having a blast, you know, and he's on a motorcycle. He's like throwing mines under people's cars and he blows up Clint Eastwood's son. Luckily, he jumps out of the car. Again, nobody's at risk as everybody survives. Then his truck, armored truck, slams into the truck, which then gets the ball rolling. And then Ben Diesel's like, mm, I, can't, I can't have that. And boom, 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 boom. And the CGI is looking even kind oh, of worse. Looked- on Horrible. that car going down the steps and and then fucking flames and and little old grandmas and little fucking kids with the ball flying the over them the CGI looks awful and so he's going to stop and I thought he's just going to stop his car and stop the ball but that's not happening no so instead he slams the gas and there just so happens to be a crane so I'm like what is he doing with the crane he hits the front of the crane in order to swing the, the back of the, the crane. The counterweight on the back. But the counterweight is perfect size in order to slap the, the ball like yeah. the pinball. Yeah, you've, played, uh, you've done that scene now, Strap. <laughs> See, what I thought he was going to do. But if that do, wasn't there, then what the fuck would he have done? Because I saw, like, on the side, on the right side, there was a ramp. Oh, yeah. Because I thought, I I thought, thought he too, was just going to pull up on the side and then have it just kind of. And then the yes. river. Yeah, that's yes, not cool. That's enough. what I thought. But that yeah, wasn't cool exactly. enough. We have to slam exactly. the car into the crane. The crane <laughs> swings around. It hits it perfectly, and then it falls into. The but crane. again, here goes the physics. He hits the crane. He continues his momentum. Lands perfectly on the other oh, side. Oh yeah, he's on like the other, dry, and on he's the like other this. bank, up against the wall. <laughs> and he's like this in his car. Ugh. Minor inconvenience. <laughs> That's the thing. Is this uh, in this film? Like in other films, they fall out of the cars. They switch cars because the car gets beat up. In this car, his car is indestructible. Well, it's a Dodge, and it's still all going. Do- do- you they fucking look at money. the Dodge wrong, and it'll all, fall apart. All of the Dodges are indestructible. Remember, remember, kids, buy a Dodge. Be yeah, like Vin apparently. Diesel. Uh, yeah. And he's like, yeah, that, "That's the one thing you got wrong. You didn't take my car." And we'll get there, but. Anyways, so yeah, so he p- does a pinball maneuver, and it sounds cooler than it than it is, ends up being because we've seen them do wild shit. And if we're gonna make excuses for them, like ah, this is dumb fun, I want it to be cool. And I just it well, I wasn't in it maybe because prior I had been knocked out by all of the bad dialogue, all of the yeah. rush character scenes, <clears throat> all of the st- overstuffed bullshit. And I'm usually on board. Yeah. <laughs> So Damn Vin, it. Vin Diesel had all of this stuff completely by himself. Now, he was, he did have someone in his ear saying, hey, the, this river is deep enough to do it. But if the other people on his team, at least the competent ones, you have Ludacris, you have the new lady, Miss, uh, uh, Miss Andre. What do they do in this film? Nothing. They do nothing. nothing. And if they had the been helping. The entire film. Yeah, you want, it's supposed to be about family, and that's the whole stupid fucking thing we're going for all of these goddamn movies. Let your family help you. And this is the one time that they're together, and they just go, hey, the river's deep. You could, like, put ball there. 
<laughs> and then it's like, oh, cool. And then they do, and then they don't contribute any other way. Right. They go underground because they, they escape the police and yeah. they, they and they're you're like, underground. Let the me whole hack time. the crane. I just hacked the crane. At I helped you. At least give me that. <laughs> like, I would rather it have been they hacked the crane. So, <laughs> the fucking thing explodes, <laughs> and all of the authorities immediately blame Dom. Yeah. Even though they see on fucking camera that Dom is attempting multiple times to stop this ball, right? It's fucking dumb as shit. Not only that, but a bunch of authorities have worked with him before, and it's like, this guy has saved everybody multiple times. Well, Jason put out, but, uh, I, put out the picture. And put out and the said, picture. Hey, yeah. is, oh, Jason did. Jason did a picture. Jason okay, did and then the agency's like, no, we don't like him anymore. Now, this is explained. Yeah. It's held all the way till the end because we're like, the fucking agency is so stupid. I hate this fucking character. They bring in Jack Reacher. Uh, you know, which, by the way, is a good series, right? On Amazon, like you check it out. But this this character just it, it sucks. He doesn't have much to do. It's just on a whim. He does something. You're like, you don't buy it. But it is revealed why he does it towards the end. So we'll get there. But first, so that happens. So then, of course, special forces go to his fucking home. And I'm thinking to myself, these guys are international spies. They are the most high-profile targets either. And they just live... You know, in a white picket fence in the middle of, of our, uh, suburbia That's expensive. That's probably with an expensive no fucking house. plan. What's the plan? Hey, you remember what happens when the bad guys come? They say, hey, hide little bee. Hide next to the toilet. They doesn't, <laughs> yeah, that, that was their hiding spot. Yeah. I thought that there would be like a fucking badass electronic safe with a fucking elevator like Willy Wonka that flies up or just some stupid ass Fast Furious shit. Do you think shit. Vin Diesel cares about his family? Right. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Yeah. No, yeah, he doesn't. no money to go hide in the fucking toilet. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? So he's hiding in the toilet as special forces come and you think, oh, we got to go on this. This guy's after us. We, he, I killed his father. He is after us. Dom knows that he's after his family. Mm -hmm. What does he do with his son? Does he bring the son on the adventure to make sure that he's safe at all times? Does, does he put him at a black site that nobody can find? That's what he did last movie. So that's literally what he did last movie. <laughs> and, right. And so they hid them in the way last movie. They're like, look. But then Cypher, she's the extra. She's so smart and hacky and got so much money that she got to. Okay. But in this film, what does he do? Give he says, hi, like the toilet. And then he sends his brother. He said he, he basically says stay at home with and hide aunt. in the toilet if anybody comes. Hang out with your aunt. Hang out with your aunt Mia Toretto. What the fuck? I don't understand. That's so fucking stupid. So everybody. So then you get these. They're like, ah, oh, arrest them. And then she, of course Mia gets her scene to beat up multiple fucking special forces. Who knew that Mia was? Uh, I don't know. Close. Everybody is Jason Statham in this film. Do, does everybody need to be Jason Statham? I wish. I don't think so you need well, everybody hire, needs kung fu moves so like this. You need Jason. to hire people from Jiffy Lube if you need to go on secret <laughs> like missions like this. Yeah. Jiffy Lube. Jiffy Lube. <laughs> yeah, they, they all Jiffy Lube employees have battle martial arts, then special <laughs> waffle forces. House. Waffle House. Waffle House employees. That you gotta, oh, like, that's even above Jiffy Lube. Yeah, you got to learn wow. to fight. <laughs> Anyway, so she kicks all their ass, but then even more show up, and then all of from off screen you see one guy fly across, and it's Jacob. Who's Jacob? You may ask. It's Toretto's brother, who, for a man that talks about family so much, for us to only learn about him last film is whatever. Anyway, so is this? He's like a not. He's not a half brother. Right? He's like full brother. I, yes, I don't remember. But how, yeah, how full does brother. So that's why it was even more ridiculous. But Dom's like half Cuban, and um, what, I don't what's know the other? how any of it what? works. Okay. Just I'm, stop. I just wanted to know his if there's son, something that happened. His in the brother. Thing. That's what you worry about. Like not nobody. everything else. <laughs> anyways, I'm just curious. So, um, a little bit. So, anyways. So they have that scene, and he runs away. And so then we have this subplot throughout the entire film of Jacob and Little B. And it is, honestly, I like um, uh, uh, John Cena. I like him a lot. I think he's a really good person. He's done more uh, Make-A-Wish foundations oh, yeah, yeah. than everybody else. And that's what this was. It, it feels like we went on a make a wish. Like if we went with a child and John Cena, if they w if a cameras followed them around, and that's this whole that's their whole subplot is his relationship with his you know nephew, um, and it just it it it, it 
stops the momentum of the film. It's not particularly funny because the kid is not that great of an actor. And so so the moments where they're trying to have, you know, laughs and stuff, it didn't really work for me. Did it work for y'all? And and it's just a little annoying. But I I like the fact that he trusts Jacob with, you know, his son. Because it's like if he's going to do one person, Jacob. Jacob should have been there from the very fucking beginning. But whatever. He was there. So now we are we go to a brand new character. Are we do do we not already have enough characters? This is the thing. If you trim some of this fat, this could be a much better film and concentrate on all these people that you bring. But no, we have to bring in a new character. It's a Mr. Trilogy. Nobody's <laughs> daughter, this Tess, one. who is uh, Brie Larson. So she is convinced that Dom is innocent and she's going to use the God's eye because they set this up, this MacGuffin, that they could find anyone anywhere. So now we have to have in this film where, oh, the MacGuffin was stolen, so we can't use it to find this. Uh, and there's only one. And there's only one. There could be only one. <laughs> there's not a backup. The agency didn't create two in case one gets stolen. Whatever. No. Um, Tess reveals that uh, Dante's identity, you know, and who he is, and warns uh, that Ames is going to go after them. So uh, he goes to Rio de Giorno to confront Dante, uh, and then go. somebody take it over here. This is where we get back to the roots, all right? Yeah. Just everyone's trying to murder everyone. It's a, hey, let's have a race. <laughs> <laughs> I busted out so laughing. So I guess he... I'm like, you're <laughs> fucking kidding me. You want to have a race right now? Joe, <laughs> so this film actually has all the elements on paper that I think would please the fans, right? We're going back to a street race. We're even, go we're even doing the stupid fucking camera swings and through the exhaust and all that. And we get that here. But for some reason, it, it just work. doesn't work well, like it works You forgot before. the best season in the movie uh, where they're... Just, uh, the skip, just skip an ad. Oh, you skip because like, you have all the, 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 the evil does. gangsters, the evil Dante's gangsters, pull out all their guns. And then they're holding up their guns like this. And then there's an invisible hand constantly pulling on the slide of their guns for no reason. <laughs> Did you notice? that i'm like that is not i'm like and then every time somebody says something cool then then the one side is but but, but there's no but hand there's no, and then everybody already has the guns cocked and it's just like how what why are you, are you cocking multiple it's times it's like that the person doing sound there effects for this movie is a fan of this movie and i, I mean I, I don't i don't know why i don't know I so don't half know. of them are on Tom's side and half of them are on this you other guy's side. You can't buy the streets. Yes, <laughs> and they, they all do this. They all go, huh? Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. And yeah. that's when I that's when I was already knocked out of the movie. But when everybody goes, huh? <laughs> I'm like, And then he what? does the, let's race. It's like, oh, please stop it. <laughs> 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 I keep doing uh, Sly Slide, Stallone. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it's it. Not. And uh, then, but he's booby trapped the cars. And then there's this new girl, and she. So uh, yeah, uh, the, the whole moral of this is like, girl. who do you choose? So who lives? Instead of spending time with uh, the characters we've established. <laughs> And doing that, we have to set up this new girl. And she's, oh, she's a Brazilian hottie. And she's all mean. And she's got a chip on her shoulder. And Because her sister was in one of them. And movies. it turns out, I'm like, and we were like, I, I let out an audio. Ah! Because later on, Dom is staring at a picture of the one chick that died in the previous films. Like, the only person that's ever died in these things. And then she's like, that was my sister. She was the good one. On the bad one. It's like, why does everybody need to be tied to everybody else? Because? 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 You say the word, Joe. Because? Because she has every... We got to move. Joe! Familia. Thank you, Alex. Family. Oh, I didn't think of that one. Because she's like... Oh, I have everything you need right here. Because everyone's like, oh. Oh, that's the real reason. Yeah, you got it, Joe. That's the real reason. Here's yeah. a stack of his files and everything. Yeah, so <laughs> she like, knows wait, exactly where to find everything? the bad guy and what's happening. <laughs> oh, my sister was actually, you know, because I, it is tied somewhat. Because in Fast no, Five, she was stupid. against the this criminal family, whatever. And so she... She left her files. They're not at the police station. They're just in a... Well, the police station's abandoned. Anyways. Holy shit. Um, but Tess is on our side. Brie Larson, she just shows up to a bar. I'm so confused. She shows up to a bar to beat up some guy. She's like, I'm looking for somebody. So she's looking for Dom. Yes. She knows but, he's there. But she beats up some guys because they spoke to her wrong. And the bartender's on her side. That was confusing. Because I thought everybody was like... Well, this is chick doing here, and then she's like, 
give me some, I put all this money down. And did the bartender go, here, take my shotgun because you give me a lot of money? Or did they know each other know. from previous? But the, the bartender gives her a shotgun and she does her cool scene so that Brie is cool in the fucking film. So they can say the motherfucking cringe line later on. Game recognizes game. <laughs> All right. So the the whole purpose of this scene, there is. So she walks in and she knows the Dom is there because she is the one that stole the god. He's the only one with the ball head and muscles. <laughs> well, the MacGuffin, <laughs> the MacGuffin tells you where the person is within a millimeter yeah. of where they exist on Earth. Oh, and that's so, right. And so she literally knows the table that he's she sitting at. She knows where he is. I'm looking for a man, but first I want to beat you. <laughs> yeah, I want to put you in the hospital. It's like, but why? Because I'm Brie Larson. Because she wanted to. That's what I did in Captain Marvel. Yeah, and so she beats up these two dudes for no reason, and then she shoots a hole through the roof for no reason, and she's just like, oh, hey, what's up, Dom? Gotta give me two beers. Yeah. We gotta go back. Oh, I don't want to. Because when we're fighting in Dom's house, and John Cena is doing his thing, and, and Mia is doing her thing, Mia Toretto, there is gunfire going off this entire time. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jacob is upstairs beating up two guys, but not knocking their guns away. The guys are literally firing bullets into the floor. Mm -hmm. yes, and his son that. and Mia are directly below them. But yet the, the bullets shoot all of the guys that were beating up on Mia Instead of skill. accidentally yeah. getting well, his you can't skill. Oh, he knew exactly yeah. where those bullets were going to haphazardly fly when he's punching no them. No one can die in this movie. Yeah. He knew that. He read the script. Tension. Corn. Yeah. And, and there was Gone. so much gunfire that the, 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 uh, the floor, the floor was collapsed. weakening. So that we could do a wrestling move and knock his ass downstairs. Now it was cool. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I dispute like how cool it was because I, I like it when he does the wrestling moves and shit fucking breaks and shit. But anyways I had to do because I remembered that and I didn't yeah. want to skip that. So now let's go back to where we were. So the race then happens? The table? Oh, no well. at first we're at the, the, the test. Yeah. So she's like, all right, I believe you and I I'm gonna do the best that I can. Uh and he's like, well, get my wife out of there, Letty. And she's like, I can't do it. It's too hard. And he's like, you can have my jewelry. And that shows that I trust you. He's like, Sometimes you anything is have possible. Faith. Have faith. Got to have faith. And it just plays in my head. <laughs> and then, so she takes it and she goes to uh, the black site. And then, and I don't understand this. So Me she, she goes in there. There's maximum security. All these cool fucking, you know. Security system, she goes in there and she's like, shows the the cross. I'm really on your side. I'm going to find a way to get you out of here. Uh, just, just you know, go with me. And she's like, okay. And then she stabs her. <laughs> he stabs her. <laughs> Trust me. Stab you. Stab ah! me. And then make it look like you're hurting me. Ah! And then she gets away and the alarms go off and then she comes in. But then she just leaves. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah, she can't be. That's the end of the scene. And, and even Letty's like, Seriously? I don't know. So what was her plan? Why did she just leave? Because she knew that she was going to uh, end up in med bay because she had a superficial that's what, scratch. That's the only thing that I said. A, a, a paper cut. Yeah. A li it, it is a literal paper cut so that we could get a CGI robot to repair it like we're in Star Wars. And, yeah. and no one in there had a Band-Aid, so there's like, shit, we got to use a super laser to heal this thing. Laser. She could get an infection. Right. Yeah. We got to take her we, out of there. People, you know, you're at a black side. You're getting roughed up, but but if you get a paper cut, you need to have hey, whoa, to go whoa, to the whoa. medical no bay. No cruel and unusual punishment. So that was Brie Larson's plan. Yeah, sever. Or was her plan to put her into the medical bay, yes. where she's literally strapped down to the motherfucking chairs because it just so happens. But Brie Larson knew that. Boom! There's Cipher right Did next Brie to her. Brie Larson know she was gonna hack. Yes. And not There's only that, that Brie Larson was right next to her, but. The stupidest fucking thing happens. So as the... Bri One of many. <laughs> One of many. <laughs> Cypher, or was it Brie Larson, while they're strapped down... Zip Cypher did this. ...can reach with her fingers and press a bunch of buttons on the medical table. Then the medical table... System override. Ru ru <laughs> she system overrides the entire security of this black site. Not only that, but, but fires off gas... <laughs> 
in a different room she re- from the medical table. She says that she is redirecting the anesthesia from the main room into all, no. all of the... That's what she says. That's no. literally what she says. Yes. Oh, my God. So it's like, yes. when, they're designing, so the when they're designing this room, they're like, wait a minute, you want tubes for the, from the anesthesia tanks to go into that. the computer rooms? Why would you need that? It's like, I don't know. It could be recreationally fun. <laughs> Your Friday pizza party, you turn on the knots a little You're bit. You're going to kill me. Yeah. It's just like, what the fuck is this? Uh... And wow. she could and she could see why by the no, way she, she strapped see. down she, 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 she can't see. typing. She's just like pulling shit like that. Right, so this so Brie's this Larson, is fine. So that was Brie Larson's plan because yeah. she well, knew how? that those chairs how was were that manufactured. Because she's because she nobody. knew that the chairs had buttons on them, Joe, <laughs> that you can be that you can hack the entire security system it's of a, the black flag. It's a touch screen. Like she, how does she know what's what? Yeah. So she cipher. So uh, Brie Larson's plan makes no sense, and then this is so stupid that that Cipher is able to reprogram from the chair. <laughs> who the fuck would do? Uh, who made that chair? They need to be fired. Or that chair, the uh, bed. And I, the uh, parody so of this movie is gonna be great because she's gonna be doing that, and the, the, the table's just gonna be going <laughs> up and down. And they're like, uh, "Man, they don't make those anymore." Yeah. I wish they did. Mel, well, they Mel, do. Mel what, is, what is it called? Mel oh, fast, or super fast, fast. super fast. Those are too. not. Those are not parodies, Alex. They're those are trash. cheap knockoffs of trash. Like <laughs> fucking. What are those? What's the Abyssal Films or something like that? Asylum films. Asylum. Oh, is that an <laughs> Asylum movie. Oh no. Okay, never mind. So they get out. They kick everybody's ass in the black site. Uh, and then, but and they're about to escape. But before they escape, she goes, uh, "How much time do we have? Four minutes." She's like, "Good, that's enough." And then she just start. They just start fighting. I know they you're about to rescue me, but I gotta kick your ass and potentially kill you and pr- potentially uh, break my arm or leg. I don't know where I'm at in a black site, and it was just dumb as fuck. So we can have our cat fight. Granted, it's a cool fight. I need some of this action because the rest of it is so fucking stupid. So we get some of this action, and uh, I think it was longer Cypher, I, I, she's a hacker, but somehow she's a special forces fighter. And she's been shown to be able to take on 20 special forces at the beginning of the film. So they make it like Michelle Rodriguez's character is not going to be able to fight her. But ultimately, it's shown that Letty is actually more powerful than Cypher. And through pure gumption, uh, does a Achilles, you know, she does an Achilles punch and then she does an Achilles kick, you know, these huge fucking action scenes. So she gets hers and then they, they do that. Yeah. Oh, but before that, when they were in the prison, she goes, game recognizes game. And then to Brie and then Brie goes, yeah. And then Brie stabs her and then leaves her room. Anyway, so that that fucking happens, but then we go back to the race. So, Joe, uh, so Alex or Joe, pick it up here. What what is they their <laughs> ultimate? Why do they even race? There's too much at stake here. Uh, it, there, there's no point for them to race. No, I mean, there's so, a point. So, so, like Jason Momoa is trying to torment uh, Dom and be like, "Look, you have set up this giant family, and the family isn't your strength. It's your it's your liability, right?" And so he's trying to set up, <laughs> "Hey, this buddy that yeah. we just we just met for the very first time. Well, I just met. I don't know if he's in the other movies. The guy who's organizing the race is going to race. Yeah, bad guy's going to race. I don't think he's in it. I mean, there's been several race organizers throughout the years, but I don't think anybody remembers yeah. this guy. So it's like. Dom's racing, Momoa's racing, race organizers racing, and then girl who we don't know is someone's sister is going to be forced to race. Bad but, attitude. But secretly, they've planted bombs under the two no-name people's cars. And then when they start racing, Jason Momoa starts arming the bombs, and Dom sees that it's what's going to happen, and he's like, <clears throat> How hey, are you going to choose? Dom, you have to choose which one to save. And then he chooses the lady, um... Because he's a gentleman. I and, uh, guess. Women and children and first. And the guy was going to, the guy was very excited to win the race. He was going to win a million dollars. <clears throat> right. Uh-huh. Well, he, he got blown up and died. And for a lot of the film, like, this is the only stakes that you had. But he, this, a, here's a the random thing, race organizer was killed. <gasps> the yeah, villain is so dastardly. Because I was like, okay, Jason, you say you're going after your family, but it f- feels like you're. Going towards his friends, not really his family. Yeah. Yeah. You're targeting friends his friends. <laughs> not, not, this guy wasn't even his friend. It's just an acquaintance that he knew. They, they hugged. Know. They hugged pretty close. He's like, though. well, nah, nah. you need to target more of his inner circle. You yeah, know, and to make so it more that's the problem better. with the film is the stakes are not really there. Towards the end, we'll get there. Um, but yeah, okay. So they race. Ultimately, uh, Jason Momoa having fun this entire time. Has all the best dialogue. Has all the best acting, and he wins the race. Uh, and then Dom has to see. No, uh, uh, he at the last minute 
he sees the fucking bomb landmine under her and he knocks the car so hard and she's like, get to ass there. I don't know what she fucking says. And the, the fucking thing falls off just in time where it explodes and she does a flip and she's on fire and she's like, what the fuck? And, you know, he pulls her out and he's got her in his arms and it's like, you know, and she's looking. I'm like, are they doing a love interest here? What are they doing? I don't know. He has a wife. I have a wife and a family. But, you know, <laughs> hero worship. I, I do get to save the hot girl or whatever. Yeah, it does and it a lot. Yeah, and so uh, he saves her. And then that's when we go to her house, and we know that she's not just a random person. She's the sister. But she's a bad person. She's a bad person. The wrong know. daughter died. So stupid. <laughs> oh, my God. The wrong son anything. died that day. Uh, and because, remember, you cannot buy the streets. Secret agent Jack Reacher guy shows up to uh, to Rio, and he's going to try to take down uh, Dom, but Dom walks through, and he does the bro nod to these dudes, and these dudes are like, I know who you are. I'm going to protect you. And then they see white cop guy, and white cop guy is like, oh, get out of my way. And they're like, I want your watch. And then they have a oh, street yeah, fight. Because yeah. remember, that guy hadn't had a fight yet. And yeah. it's like, it He's is a rule. A it's Every character my has to kick all of these other people's asses for He's no a reason. Yeah. And so, so this cop kicks their, all their ass. Yeah. And it, he, he did put on like 40 pounds of muscle. Dude, or dude is dude, fucking, fucking jacked. Huge. Jacked. huge. He's getting bigger and bigger yeah, and bigger. Yeah, she's like, I don't, I bigger. He's going to be bigger than fucking Rock by the he end of He is bigger than The Rock. Because I'm fucking crazy. It's nuts. Anyways, in London, the rest of Dom's crew, who is on this subplot that sucks, have discover all their bank accounts. Accounts have been hacked and leaving them penniless, except for Roman. Apparently, uh, any money that he earns, he wears. Mm -hmm. He just had a bullet, a money proof, a bullet proof vest made of money. Yes. And so ha, then, ha, he started, ha, ha. then he has his moment. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> and he gets his money. And oh, receipts. I want receipts. Just dumb shit that's not funny. It's not. And, uh, yeah, they seek supplies, and they learn that whoever turns them into the authorities will receive millions. So that's when we get the Pete Davidson, and they have the scene in the fucking old internet cafe. He tries to turn him in. He's like, you son of a bitch. And the chick punches Pete Davidson or something. Mm -hmm. It was pointless. Uh, yeah, There's also a little pointless scene where uh, mm -hmm. Hans eats the... The drug, I guess the drug muffin. He just sees a little thing yeah, for like two and seconds, it's like, and then it's they just drop funny. it. Funny. I'm like, what was it? But you it's didn't not need that funny. Joke. No, you didn't need that joke. Yeah, like for two funny. seconds. It's not working. Like, okay. The director and writers think, <laughs> 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 then his face is gonna be all weird. Right and then we're gonna drop it. I'm like, okay, well that was dumb. So then, uh, speaking of uh, him, he go the team goes to Deckard Shaw. So fucking Jason Statham, and he brings a guy inside, and he closes the door, and they start to fight because I don't know because it last because he killed him. He's like the only he's mad. Yeah, you came back from the dead, and the only reason to come back from the dead is revenge. So and I'm gonna like, kill you first before gonna, you kill me. Yeah, I'm gonna knock the snacks out of your hand, and you don't do that because <laughs> oh that guy is, that guy is always eating, and uh -huh, he's just like, oh no, thing. my snacks. And then, so the, then they fight. And, but then, the, oh no, the agency shows up. Yep. And then they have to fight the agency together. And, and then they there. literally kill all of these okay. agents. Oh, brutally. You know, like, these are, Statham doesn't these fuck are around. People that joined an agency that is good for good. Yeah. And they murder all of them. But they had helmets on, so they don't count as human beings. <laughs> we never speak of them. As long as you don't see their eyes. Uh, Shaw is <laughs> yeah, reluctant to accept, but soon no. agrees to help after learning that his mother. And we also had the scene of when Dom, uh, you know, the fucking bomb exploded. Then we have to have the scene with, uh, what's Ellen her Mirren. name? Uh, Ellen Mirren comes in and she Queenie. says, I don't know what she says. She says something to Dom. She says, you're number one on the list. Your family's in danger. Yeah. Everyone thinks you're an asshole and I don't want to be in this <clears> But movie. it turns out that she's <laughs> also on the list. And then when fucking Jason Statham hears this, he's like, oh, my mom. Is I swear on me mom, bruv. I swear on me mom, bruv. Don't fuck with Jason's mom. And he puts all the guns in the bag, and then he drives to help them. So he's going to agree to help them. Okay. Yeah. So Ames tracks down and assists Dom, uh, but while talk taking him into custody, his team is attacked by Dante's mercenaries. So they end up on the same. He's like, you might want to put on your seatbelt. And he just ignores him, and he's like, that's the problem. These days, nobody listens. <laughs> Yeah. And he puts his seatbelt on, and then rockets come in. You know, Don't conveniently, it doesn't explode the car. It just explodes under it so that they could fall over. And then they, they come out, like, already shooting. Well, this seems super important, too, because of what we learn at the very end of the movie, because it doesn't make any sense otherwise. Yeah. But, uh, the fact that the guy who got blown up by a fucking rocket is the secret. Uh, yeah, so it's like. So it's revealed that the guy who the knew nobody, Ames. 
uh, Jack Reacher. Yeah. Is actually a bad guy. Yeah, he's been a bad guy the whole time, and he's been orchestrating this whole thing. And he agrees as part of the plan that the small shitty car that he's in will get hit by a fucking missile. Yeah. And uh, he's like, "Nah, it's fine. Don't I'm not gonna put my seatbelt on. I'm not gonna wear no a helmet." Sense. I uh, now the missile was likely fired by Jason Momoa's mercenaries that he's yeah uh, he's oh, using sure. all their money. And siphoning in their accounts, so they got helicopters, they got machine guns, and they got all sorts, of, and they got fucking Gatling guns. Yeah, but he didn't have to be and in so that then, truck. Then we have a, a gunfight where Ames is literally walking out, and, and, and it's a long shot. So you see him walking, you see all these mercenaries firing, and he's just walking, and, and then he decides to move because he's like, okay, this is dumb even for me, and then he moves out of the way. <laughs> it's just funny to see. Same thing with Dom does the same shit, except for at least Dom gets a car door. <sighs> As if car doors are made of, I, I don't know, vibranium. adamantium and vibranium. Yo, absolutely. It's like you could just use a pit, nine mil and you could just shoot uh, right Dom also that. lifts up a car. Uh, I think it's a Mustang. <laughs> That's right. It's a new Mustang. Yeah, he grabs Mustang. it. <gasps> he grabs it with one arm. One arm. And just shrugs two arms. it. And he's like bending rebar and shit and doing Vin does not stuff. need two arms. And like he's just like... Fuck, I'm so much stronger than The Rock, and I'm going to lift this car with one arm, and he lifts it up. It reminds me of Crossroads, Joe. Remember the joke where it's like, I want my muscles bigger. <laughs> He's like, at the, at the studio, I want my muscles bigger. That's what this is. It's dumb, you yeah. lift the whole car? Like, yes. He lifts the car by himself with one arm, and then the what car. What does he do with the car? The car he starts to go forward, and then it's it kills one guy. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it does. But it I guess it's a little bit of cover. Uh, as he yeah. continues to shoot, and they're shooting at him. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, anyways, at this point, Ames is like, I, got, I wasn't listening before. I'm listening now. And all of a sudden, you have this turn. And so the entire theater, like, collectively, oh, this is, why are we doing it? It's not until we realize later, but it was a double. It was a cross, but it was a double cross later on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's before the scene, too. We go back to Jacob and Little B. Yeah. And I'm very disappointed with the TSA. Yeah. Not thinking, oh, that's hey, right. this is a canoe. Motherfucker, this is not that's a canoe. Not, oh this my is a God. fucking plane. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me go back. Poor because God. he forgot. Because it, it, it kind of After the gunfire scene in Dom's house, you know, his son runs out and he's like, oh, cool truck. And he's like, this is not my car. And he's got this piece of shit. 5.0 uh, fucking Mustang with it. a fucking canoe. It's awful. And they make a joke about it. And and so then he drives off. Well, it turns out that they go to a fucking airport and they're like, this is not very in inconspicuous. And it's like, the best way to run and not get caught is to be known where you're at the whole time and get caught. To gain a tail, then lose it. Yeah. And, and so then he's, he goes up and, and uh, he stores it. And I guess because he knows a flight attendant, they've had sexual relations in the past, or maybe they're friends. That's I Paul don't Walker's fucking daughter. know. Yeah. What? Yeah. The 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 lady on the plane is Paul Walker's daughter, and that's in the, real life. Yeah. Well, that's the that's character the, Brian's no, daughter in real life. That's the only reason that they let him do any of this shit. Okay. Because she read the script. She's like, I got. I had no idea. Well, she needed to be in it. So then they're friends, and she helps him by letting him know that there's, there's some motherfuckers here trying, about to kill you on this plane. Um, and so he goes to the back, and he takes a bunch of, I don't know, Vodka. Uh, alcohol. Uh, not for beating up the guys. He just beats up the guys, and then she sees that he beat up the guys, and she helps him and hides it in the bathroom. And then, and then oh, she gives him the key to go down into the cargo area, and I guess she set it up for him. I didn't know if flight attendants have that ability. But, she has uh, apparently a lot. Yeah, Tons of she could do a lot. She could bring a plane, not a canoe, a plane. A plane into, into a, a plane. bigger plane. And <laughs> she then, had that power. Yeah, and then this commercial airlines plane has a bomb bay door. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I want to fly. Did I, did I did, wait? Did I get that right? No, yeah. Did, no, did, right. I, I I didn't think about that when I was in the theater. I but did. Now I was I'm like, thinking isn't this a commercial? A commercial airlines flight as a Bombay door, mm -hmm. and then they Southern airline or Southern something. Southern. I was like, man, I need to fly them. Yeah, let's yeah. Fly just in case. It's like, a it's carpet it, bomb. It's a <laughs> jet <laughs> canoe that runs off vodka. By the way, right? And, it, and even more ridiculous. <laughs> and this is like the stupid ridiculous that's back. That's fun. But it even looks stupid. You know, he's laying down, so I guess that means that his son is laying on top of him, and there's no, not enough space for two people to see. How is he going to fly it? I guess he says, I don't need to fly it. It, it will glide down, right? And so then they fly off, and then it does Batman wings. 
Yeah. It, the canoe turns into a bat glider. Yeah, vodka fuel bat glider. I, oh, it's fuel. Nobody is noticing the things are going. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's like, what's that noise? <laughs> you guys feel something? <laughs> And there'd be air rushing. You would hear a lot of fucking air. I mean, it's like extending the goddamn fucking landing gear. I mean, you're, you're going to hear it. Must Anyways, whatever. Some cheap seats. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. There's so Can't much. Can't forget in about here. that. Exactly. Better, this better is, we, we, we had to go back. It. We had to go None back. This to works that. as well as it sounds, as we're making it sound. <laughs> Tessa arrives to help Don, but he's wo- but wounded by us. So we're going back to the bridge fight. Okay? Bridge fight. So Tess shows up. She jumps on the villain's car. He's like, hey, that's disrespectful. Don't do that. And uh, now you have the uh, Ames, who's now on Dom's side. But then a sniper comes. Well, but no. First, Dom beats the shit out of him. Because they, the, they have to get into one a, funny yeah. part. They have to get into a fight, and Dom's beating up uh, of Dante, and he's not fighting back. And then he pulls out a You tooth. know what's the worst fighter in the F- F- Fast and Furious franchise? Dom. Or not Dom. Uh, Jason Momoa. He's he, most- he doesn't land any hits on Dom because contractually it says Vin Diesel is not allowed to get hurt. Yeah. It's his so. moneymaker. Right. Well, they also made Vin Diesel wear those like lifts and stuff because I'll be bigger than everybody in this movie. And I got uh, beat up on Jason Momoa yeah. and he can't get a single shot on me. Mm-mm. Too fast. He's like, so he beats the furious. shit out of him <laughs> and his teeth falls out and he goes, oh, you butthole. Best part of the whole movie. That, yeah. Seriously. And then uh, they don't hear And then he goes, him. do you like ballet? And he goes, Psh. He just does this maneuver, and all of a sudden, Brie is shot. And there was, was a stealth helicopter <laughs> hovering yeah, right yes, above them. I was going to say, that you can't the hear. helicopter just snuck up on them. Yeah, it's, for, it's the stealth helicopter from GoldenEye, and a guy comes out, and he shoots Brie Larson in the top of the shoulder because he's not a very good shot. Yeah, not and, a but, great sniper. But then he shoots the bad guy, who we don't know is dead a bad center. guy, dead center right in the, the body armor, so he doesn't die because he, he, can, he, can, he can't die. Yeah. And then he goes they away. They had a deal. And he's like, I, I, you, uh, I'm shoot me shoot here. This, I'm going to shoot this lady. Go save her. He runs over there, tackles her, puts up the fucking car door. Yeah. It's a guy. You're cool. A random lady. What lady? Which lady? The sister of the dead. Yeah. Oh, the, the oh that's right. The Brazilian so sister. The, yes. The, the, nobody cares yeah, about She's like, she that, needs a she's hospital. She's in danger again. Yeah. I need so dumb saves her again. Care. Again. Yeah. Right? We have two times that we say this character that we don't give a shit about. Ridiculous. Well, um... Yeah, so she goes to the hospital, and uh, here's the part I don't really. Well, it's stupid. Oh. It's a little nitpick again. Uh, Bree's like shot. She's got like a, maybe like a little bit of blood. Yeah, right here. She's like, oh, here, take this, and it's like his chain full of blood. I was like, where did that? Blood you got just from? dripping with blood. Like, that, what the fuck? That, that, what? <laughs> I that doesn't add up. That too. Yeah, Why is the chain of un- bloody? <laughs> it's, oh, oh, I've been through yeah. so much. It's like, it's like you, f- you failed to set that up. It's yeah. not. Not even leaking. Yeah, you weren't even holding it up here. You weren't. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> I guess that's the feels, Joe. The director's like got you right in the feels right here. I thought Brie Larson was gonna die. You didn't know because I was just like, wh- how did the blood get there? I was like, yeah. not even in the feels. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. Uh, but this scene is super important because this is where Dante steals the God's God eye, eye. Yes. and now that he has the God's eye, he knows exactly where the sun is, is, which is he's in Portugal, and they're in Brazil. And he gets to Portugal immediately. Now, uh, Jack Reacher <laughs> says, I wasn't listening now, but I, I, or I'm not going to apologize, but I, what I will do is help you get your son. So what they do is they go get, uh, what is a, a Hercules? And then they, they're like, well, we also have to bring my car. And it's like, so they, you, you have a plane. You have the Hercules. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm going to bring my car. And he, they, well, so that's because they, they, his car is an extension of his body. And then, so see. he brings... He brings his car, and then uh, 36 hours later, when that plane can make it, it gets all the way over to <laughs> to, to, to Portugal. And there, to that's not that. time, death, and physics don't yeah, exist. Yeah, in gravity. The movie. I saw the trailer, and this got me excited. Just this is like the ridiculous part, but it's wasted in the trailer. So he comes up, he's flying low. He's like, "There's no airfield." It's like, "I don't care. Just, just drop me off here." And he's like, "Okay." And then he fl- falls out of the plane. Could have gone and at that distance, the way they film it, it's like that car is completely destroyed as soon as it hits the ground. Not the only asshole. does it not hit the ground, it hits two other cars completely smashing and destroying them, flipping yeah. them up into the air. Mm-hmm. 
while also simultaneously being in pristine condition. I was like, yeah, I think your axle would have been gone. <laughs> your axle would have been destroyed. That's the only thing that would have been. Oh, well, your <laughs> CV joint, Joel, would be obliterated. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> your CV boot. He didn't even lower the plane that much. He's like <laughs> super fucking high up in the Why air. Why did he go that high yeah. in the air? <laughs> you could have Well, there was a lower. hill on one side. I thought, oh shit, that's going to clip the wing. When he's like flying, that would have added like more attention yeah. or something yeah, instead something, of yeah. like, oh, so, so get lower he, he and smashes <laughs> cars with his car, and then he just he gets cars with his car, and he's just destroying everything. And this is the fa- this is the I said there are some good moments in the film, and we're back to the ridiculousness, like swinging around a fucking rainforest on a fucking cable. That's kind of what this is. Some helicopters show up, fucking put the fucking thing that you've seen in the trailer, and then he just uses, I guess, NOS to smash the two helicopters together, and then they fall, and it's a great triumphant moment. The music swells, but this entire time, there are helicopter bulk heads and fucking wreckage on fire being dragged, in, and it's... It's not slowing down the car at all. The no. physics are completely well, wrong. He's, he's doing nuts. And, so. then, and then he does donuts so that he can turn them into a flail. He's we have helicopter flail. Around. And, 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 and so that's <coughs> cool. And that sounds cool on paper. The way it's filmed, again, it's lessened by the director and, and the screenwriter. But it's still somewhat cool. Again, a little bit uh, skipped ahead. Um, yeah. Dante captures them. He's like, we got you surrounded. Jacob and Little B and say, hey, I've been working on this car. Let's get in this car. It's a rocket one. It's a cannon car. Cannon car. Cannon car. escaped to the back. He's like, all right, let's go fetch him, guys. And Little Kid is just like mowing these people down, firing rockets, and laughing know, about it. He's like, like, yeah, it's so fun. It's like, things. you just killed like Well, these are bad six. guys, so I can excuse that. Then the rockets get stuck. Um, and the kid decides, without permission from his uncle, to uh, exit the car yes. while it's driving 100 miles an hour. And fix it himself. Uh, with bombs, literal bombs. He's banging the bombs around. Yeah. And then they, they fucking slide into this, but not slide, bang into place. And then that's when Jason Momoa comes up alongside and grabs the stupid fucking kid. Yep. And Jacob's really pissed off. I was like, Jacob, God damn it. You let the kid get captured. Then we have all this other shit that happens, and um, yeah, and so then uh, that's when Dom shows up, beats up everybody with his car, and then he drives up alongside uh, Jason Momoa, and he screams to his son. Uh, they had to have a flashback, where it's like, "Feel the car, kid." Son, feel the car, it, and so then the kid feels sense. the car. By jumping out of Jason Momoa's car, which he's never been in before and can judge the size, and then flying as a Superman into his father's car, and then his father grabs him and yanks him into the car, and then everything is fine. Yes. And it was stupid as shit, and I hated it. Mm -hmm. And so then he drives, but everything is fine, except for Dom, who is a literal magician with his car, decides to go, oh my God. God, he does. He does this reaction shot, stops the car, does a cool swerve, and I'm like, "What the fuck is gonna stop Dom?" You know, and it is a semi truck. So a, a semi truck was on the in his oh, way. Oh well, you, well, we're skipping too far ahead. The second most important part of this whole movie Jacob. is Jacob sees that there's yes. four cars coming at Dom. Now Dom has just With killed Gatling guns, five hundred cars. And he's killed thousands of people with his car. But yes. these four cars, particularly menacing. Yeah. And so Jacob goes, you know what I have to do? I have to use my cannons <laughs> to rocket jump my car, sacrifice myself, blow Why up. Why didn't he just use his cannons? Just fire straight ahead? Because he was on... Uh, because of the sacrifice. That was on the oncoming, and he was on the other side. <laughs> That's oh, it would hit the medium if he fired? Yeah. Yeah. Or it, he they, no, they showed that it was stuck again. His side was stuck. So he he built a pretty shitty car. Yeah, he's he's terrible, and I don't. I think I just I'm just guessing. I don't think they're actually related. I so apparently, <clears throat> apparently, <throat> apparently <throat> there's a button that will point your gun down on all four <laughs> canisters for the purposes of killing yourself <laughs> when you want to die. Jumping, it's sweet. When you want to die and commit suicide, he, you can press this he, button. <laughs> here's another bad influence of uh, Mario Kart. All right, he was influenced by Mario Kart. He's like, I want to make this jump too. Yeah. I'm gonna build my own car, 
and fucking jump. Yeah. So and just slams. So then he does the Mario Kart. He jumps and yes. he fires the rockets into the ground, which would have immediately obliterated him. But instead, he flies upward and then smashes his car into with all with four all the of and... the Gatling gun cars, which doesn't make any sense. And then they all explode. And so John Cena is well, you can't see him. He's you not don't actually dead. see He's him not dead. dead. We see He's him. not dead, Joe. There is a fireball explosion. The How guy, many times have we guy seen in that? The green Supra or whatever in the street race in, in Rio is dead. Oh, he didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> but Jacob's not dead. You no. don't think Jacob's dead? No. No, of course not. I don't think he's dead either. But, <laughs> you know, I got to play it up like the movie's playing it up. So, oh, no. Uh, and then it's like, Jacob. Thomas he, gives the most mean face ever. And that's that's somebody crying right there. Yeah, Jacob's that's Dom's gone. crying. Dom cried. And then that's when he sees the semi trucks. Er, I gotta stop the semi trucks. Dom, I don't know. Do jujitsu with your car like you've done the whole fucking film. Do five flips over the fucking semi truck and you're fine. What, what were the semi trucks gonna do? They're just filled with gas and they'll smash into each yeah, other. Yeah, they were just gonna crash into each other. Were they remote control? Yes. These, these yes. Okay, so they remote control. That's why he was like up top. He's like, ah, I got you now. This is exactly I'm gonna kill you slowly. <laughs> I was like, come on, Jason. <laughs> and Dom goes, with well, you made one mistake. You didn't take my car. And then he flies off the dam. And he literally, <laughs> Joe, shut the fuck up. He is so steering he, in he, air. Full speed. He flies off the dam. He's steering in air. And his car doesn't go end over end. No, Instead, no. it lands perfectly he was steering properly. on a, I don't know, a 10 degree <laughs> fucking incline. And he's just driving. He's got full control. His wheel, his wheel does go a little bit, Joe. So that's oh, okay. the CGI I mean, guys had a. And the tie fired, fighter noise. But then, yeah. Oh, the tie fighter noises. The cars oh, make. we forgot to mention that they they race in a tunnel uh, after an. I was like, wait a minute. So many. Yeah. And I guess they did. They borrowed the Star Wars Tie Fighter. It sounds like it may not be exactly it. We all heard it, I think though. It's we all heard Disney it. We all heard sue it. over that. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's Universal, not Disney. So he drives down the dam, and then he fl- his car lands into the water, and they crawl out in their. He safe. wanted to get his moment, though. Because, like, uh, you get that sweet-ass, like, like a oh. CGI of his fucking muscles. bicep. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, God, yeah. this. <laughs> so much but, oh, shit. We're, how muscles. much? We're, this movie is so dumb and it's so breakneck that like we're, we're skipping over other shit. Yes. It turns out that... I, there's so much shit. There's so much it's, dumb shit we forgot. Uh, there's another thing we forgot, yeah, Alex. So, uh, bad guy, uh, Jack Reacher, is on a mountaintop. He's twirling <gasps> yes. his mustache. It doesn't exist. And just as Tyree shows up and says, Dom, we're here. Before Dom goes down the dam. Oh, that's he's like, right. I'm here to save you, Dom. And then they get What hit. were they supposed to do? They were gonna hit him with a plane. No, they were gonna pick him up with a plane. Yeah, yeah. They were. Gonna, he was, Tyree was gonna put his hand outside oh, the window shit. and then mm-hmm. and then grab him and then just yank him along. It was gonna be fine. His muscles are so strong that that Vin Diesel would have been able to hold on. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah. So the, the Jack Reacher shoots down the plane and it's like, oh, curse your inevitable betrayal that we we all kind of saw. Okay, whatever. And then, so we don't know if they're dead. And then Vin Diesel is at the bottom of the dam now with his son. And then we find... Oh, yeah, they're shown to go off screen. So you don't actually see them off screen. So who would have died? It would... uh, Tyrese. Ludacris, Tyrese. Tyrese, uh, Ludacris. uh, Hacker chick. Uh Uh-huh. And two pilots. And 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 their cars. Is there anybody else? No, I don't think so. All right. Hans? Hans? Yeah, Hans. 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 Or is he with Jason... (laughs) Or is he with... Hans. No, no. Uh, Statham's rescuing his mum... Okay. Um, but so then it is revealed that uh, Momoa had mined the whole bridge anyway, so the whole truck thing was stupid, and he could have just blown up the <laughs> dam with him on it and instantly killed him. But instead, he's like, <laughs> again, he's uh, he's such a great. He's trying to do his own Fast and the Furious Joker thing, but he can't like the actions that he has is worse than Doctor Evil stuff. Yeah, and it's like this well, is so his, stupid. His thing was, it's, I'm just gonna cause pain. He's so now, well. Does it so well. Now I'm going to kill you. Yes. At the end. And it, yeah. and he's the best part of the film. Yeah. I love it. And and his acting, it it, it just works. Um. Anyways, at some point, he messes around with the two dead bodies, the two dead cadavers, Bob and Bill or something, just to be menacing. And <coughs> they got tape up on their eyes. They're like fucking He's rotting. painting their toenails. There's fucking flies buzzing around. It's just repulsive. Anyways, so then this happens on the fucking dam. The dam explodes, but it doesn't fully explode. There's just a lot of damage. It's not like Dom is responsible for the murder of 
uh, hundreds of hundreds of people or thousands of people at that dam broke because mm-hmm. uh, the dam yet. is fine. But then the dam explodes, and then that that scene ends. Oh, that well, that then the dam is fine. But then he's like, "You're not getting away," and then he explodes the dam. Bam, the dam, and then they cut away, and then we go all the way back to Antarctica. Oh, the 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 car uh, slams into the water, mm-hmm. um, and then they the, do the credits the, of the water later. But okay, uh, go back yeah. To so Antarctica. they're they so they go to Antarctica, and then uh, uh, Simple Jack's fine. Cipher is fine. <laughs> uh, she's just sitting there, and like. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Michelle Rodriguez uh, crawls out of the ventilation tube because, you know, all, all ventilation tubes are, are made out of whatever that she's crawling out of. Like, she crawls straight up, and then she realizes she's in Antarctica, and she crawls back down to feed it because she's wearing a white... T- a t- wife like beater. Tank, a wife beater. somehow wears wife beaters throughout this entire series. I don't know if you noticed, but, like, that same thing she's wearing... Uh they show the picture of their wedding. What Dom was wearing yeah, for the they, wedding. Yeah, there's a wedding picture, and he's wearing a wife beater, and it's just like what a the white wife like, beater okay. and white pants. It's like that's, that's that's a prison outfit. That's his Dom's wedding outfit. Yeah, so she's wearing his wedding outfit. <laughs> the prison outfit. Uh, is his wedding outfit. So Cipher and Michelle Rodriguez Damn, are best. Joe, I didn't know you were so stylish. <laughs> Hated it. Yeah. It's like who does that for the wedding? Like, you're wearing a tank top to a wedding after Memorial Day. Oh. All right. Keep uh, going. So they, they escape, and then they walk through the snow, and then uh, there's a nuclear sub that pops <laughs> up through the ice. But uh, someone told me that blew up, so but it came back. And uh, yeah, and, and then Gal Gadot Gal- is there. But it, uh, someone else said I she's don't dead. Remember it, what happened to her? I don't fucking care. She's smiling like, look at my cameo. I just making a bunch of cameos recently. She has no lines, so they can stupid. pay her the minimum. Yeah, um, but she'll probably be in the next one. Yeah, and then the movie ends, and then there's a post credit scene. Uh, the two escape and are soon rescued by her, having survived falling off the plane after her sacrifice to save Han. So apparently, oh, I think wasn't she like Han's girlfriend or something like that, or I I don't know. So she sacrificed herself. She sacrificed herself in one of the previous. So, but movies she didn't to save sacrifice Han. herself. But she but she also <laughs> comes theory. back. So the person that died came back, and then that's everyone. And, and then she was there and sacrificed herself for the person that got sacrificed himself and died. But then now she is back, and she didn't really sacrifice him. Yeah, if and you then a mid yeah. And then the mid credits. Oh, wait, scene. wait. We got the, so then, yeah. So then the the car lands in the water, and then the credits roll, and there's no ending. So Momo gets away. Uh, we think that Jacob is dead. We think that all of uh, uh, Vin Diesel's friends are dead, but they're not. They're and uh, Jason is on a war path, but he has not done anything. And, and Dom and Little B are going to die because the bridge blew up. And Dom and Little B are going to die because... They're going to drown. The well, bridge blew up. No, they are seen They they are seen to go to the surface, right? So we see yeah, that. But yeah, but he blows up he, the he dam. He blows up the dam. But then the dam blows up, but we don't actually see the water slamming yeah. into no, them no, or no, anything. No, yeah. no, Okay. Yeah, and then, then we get a mid-credit. And then the mid-credit scene. During a mission with several uh, operative agents... It's revealed, and and I thought they were going to do this because these motherfuckers played it up the whole fucking time. This rivalry between them where they're talking shit. I'm never going to be in another movie with you again. It's like it's not happening. Is what? No. No, oh. The Rock and The Vin. Rock and Vin Diesel have had this spat. Oh, I thought it was you didn't him know about too. The spat? I thought him too. I don't know. No, that was just one time. He's like, I want to do more. Oh, okay. And he he wasn't he wasn't really gonna stop. This one was serious. like he was like, I'm not gonna be in it. But apparently, maybe it was all fucking made up. He's like, I'm not gonna be in another one. And I thought they were setting up his death, right? Because they're co- that, and that's probably what they're trying to do with the audience. He's hiding. It's like they're hiding his face in pictures, and it's like you were also responsible. And I thought he was going to pull, push a button, and boom, uh, you know, Luke Hobbs is dead. And that would have been major disrespect to The Rock and his fucking character out of there. But Vin Diesel wouldn't do that because The Rock is family. And it takes off his helmet, and it actually is The Rock. And the audience goes wild. There, there wasn't an audience. It was just like, I think, an older yeah, guy. Yeah, one guy was like. <laughs> <laughs> who reveals that. Uh, uh, he, that, yeah, uh, he's Hobbs is the, and he goes, I'm coming for you, you some bitch. Crushes the phone. And he crushes the phone. He says, Some bitch. Yeah, some bitch. 
so, you know, like some of a bitch, like a southern thing, S O M bitch. So I just never heard Rock say that. So I, I wonder if he's trying to make that a thing. It's like everybody say this now. Yeah, some coming bitch. back to that flashback, why is Dante going after Dom? Because Dom hit his dad Hobbs. was Dom was responsible Hobbs. for his ta- dad's Hobbs death. Hobbs is the one who killed him. Yeah, Hobbs is the one who shot him. He's in the, the chest. one who shot him in the fucking chest with a fucking gun. He's the one who ended him. But I thought but that uh, no, because he was still outside. Dom slammed the car he did, into him, but he was still alive. He's about to die. He was an alley oop situation. So he goes right. over, then shoots him. Look, if your if your dad dies by Hobbs. alley oop, even remember kill both. that because it, it, it was at the end. He's like, yeah, he's like, you're the one who killed my dad. I was like. Then why are you going for Dom? Because Dom set up the kill. The alley oop. The alley oop. But he didn't score the point. Doesn't matter. You get the assist. Mm. Hobbs <laughs> will be Dante's next target after Dom. So whether that's going to be a second Hobbs and Shaw, and they're setting up Hobbs and Shaw too oh, here. Please, I'd much rather have that. I would much rather have that too because I think Jason Statham and fewer characters. We don't have to fucking include everybody. And right. then dumbass characters in and on top of it just be Hobbs and Shaw against Jason Momoa. That might be a 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah. And then when you bring back uh, his sister, and he's like, I've captured your sister, and we make some fake love interest for The Rock, and then that's how you... Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Easy. Well, that's probably not going to happen. What's probably going to happen is that now he's back with the franchise, and we can make one movie where it's, I'm showing my muscles, and, and The Rock is showing his muscles, and, and I, I ultimately get more than you, though, Rock, because it's the family. So we got one... To two more films of this, we don't know. It depends on how much, how well this thing performs. So you'll know how well it's the last make thing a performed. Billion dollars. This one made to or uh, this the budget for nine was two hundred twenty-five. Uh, the budget for this one was I told you before I didn't believe it uh, three hundred and forty, but probably three sixty. Uh, and then all the box people. office for the last one seven hundred and twenty-six million. That's lower than I thought. You thought it was a billion? I thought it was a billion. No, it's 746. It's still a ton. And then this one already has 40 million up on the board right now just from uh, you know, early showings. So, it's I don't I don't I don't know if it's going to do as well as the last one. I'm I wa- <coughs> I want it to start dying down so that, you know, Vin is like, "Okay, no universal. I can't give you five more. We we got to wrap it up." But we'll see. We'll see how. It well, we out. have to have the movie where we do the passing of the torch to the young team, the no, next generation. That never works out. Oh, it's rare. It does. It's what, rare. what is the next? Oh, it's rare. You, the next film is going to be the child actor is no longer the child actor. They they recast his son with somebody a little the young Brazilian girl, young hacker girl, uh, and then you get a Dom's so, son. So you got the you got the racer. You've got the yeah Dom's son or someone else, and like you just bring up. What, a couple established characters, and you have cameos from here and that. Universal does not want to right, get off Clint the... Clint Eastwood's son, little, little nobody. Yeah, little... Yeah. He was Don's second cousin twice like, removed. Yeah. Right, because it has to be family. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. So you'll just recast Dom's son, and then you've got a couple of established ones, and then there you go. No. I, I, I'm not I, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch this one. I don't know why this one... I don't know why this one didn't work. I gave you all the reasons why this one didn't work for me, and it lowered in the score. I just feel like I'm in Bizarre World where it went up for everybody. Everybody was like, yeah! This was even better. Like, the characters made more sense and I, I cared about I everybody. Cried. And I cry. I cry every time. Are you fucking, what is happening? God damn it. <laughs> Look, so many plot holes, so many stupid. But that's the point and I get it, but it just wasn't as fun this time mm-hmm. around yeah. for me. Stu- there's nothing wrong with stupid fun. We love stupid fun. Like he, he makes me watch stupid fun movies all the time. <laughs> this just felt like it wasn't anywhere near as fun and so it just felt stupid. Perhaps it's the m- amount of movies that we have seen where we can notice a difference in direction between Lewis and, and you know, Lynn. Yeah. And but in the screenplay between Dan Mazzao and the other screenplay who was done by um, Daniel Casey and Justin Lin. So what other garbage soap opera tropes have we not done? We've done Secret Brother. Um, we've done people coming back from the dead. We've done so many but, betrayals and double but betrayal, crosses. Yeah. We've, we've done clones? secret people. Secret clones? clones. The uh, father's not actually dead. The father. Oh. She does. Thro- it's a throwaway Charlize line. Charlize Theron's father. father. would be proud of you. Yeah. No, because they showed his father in the accident. Well, we showed Han. He's in the back. He's in the back. They think I'm dead. Yeah, people came back from the dead. So did fucking Gal Gadot. So his father is the next villain. What'd you call me? Yeah, so I mean... 
you know, if you've ever made fun of, like, let's say your mom or your aunt for watching a soap opera and you like this movie, Alex, you, you sh- better fucking go apologize right now. You shouldn't have fucking brought that up because guess you what? Not that. Uh, but here, uh, Diesel said he wants John Robert Downey Jr. to star in the 11th film as the primary antagonist, revealing the character has been developed, which is the antithesis of Dom. So it kind of sounds like m- maybe it could be his father. He's like, I, I want Robert Downey Jr. to be my dad or something <laughs> like that. Um, uh, Rodriguez has her own. She wants Matt Damon included Matt in Damon. the 11th film. I don't know why. She probably just has a crush on him. <laughs> After Later that month, they confirmed that there will be an 11th. It's got to be the dad coming back. Well. Sir, we have we'll to watch see. General Hospital, all 45 oh, seasons God, no. of it, and then we will figure <laughs> out what they're going to do in this next movie because that's where they're getting these, these scripts from. Now that they brought Dwayne Johnson back on board for real, we're either getting another Hobbs and Shaw spinoff or we're getting uh, you know, two more movies for a three-part uh ending trilogy and we just saw the first one and there's two more or there's just one and a Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw first and then the final chapter or Universal once. Okay, that's the final chapter but then this is the final, final chapter. So then there will be another one and then there will be another one and then there will be another Again, one. Again, like I don't 14, care. 15. I just want to see all of them being 70 and still driving their cars. <laughs> that would be the reboot after blockers. 20 years. Tom Cruise did it. He did it with fucking Top Gun. So once they retire and they come out of retirement, there will be that yeah. film. What if we do the, the Jesus thing? Because like we already saved the Vatican. He's always wearing his cross. So he and saves it, Jesus? No, no, he is he Jesus. Saved the he Pope. comes back after three back days. We think that Dom dies. <laughs> he's beating oh. up the Roman guys. Oh, oh he's... <laughs> I'd be in the he gets on Jesus a chair, yeah. <laughs> and he Ben hers this shit. Yeah, he swings a chair. <laughs> Ultimate up. racy. All right, yeah, me so. I'd I'm rather so watch, I'm rather so watch that. Yeah. I'm so man. <laughs> Time traveling. All right, let's do it, uh, guys. That's it. This is longest video. It's an hour now. and thirty five minutes, but we'll we'll split it up oh, into God. a short review and an hour long spoilers oh, discussion. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. guys, thank y'all so much. Uh, <laughs> I, I I can't believe we remembered all that. Um, literally, we filmed these reviews five minutes after watching, <laughs> and you know, other review channels is like hours to <laughs> chew on it and think about it. So I think we did pretty pretty well. You're supposed that. to think about these movies. That's our opinion. You may disagree with it. You may agree with it. Put it down in the comments below if you noticed in any fun stuff that you want to talk about, stupid things and fun things. Bye.